Hello, the internet. I'm Murs, and it's time to talk about playing with a face mask. Nowadays, a lot of people are wearing face masks, and in fact, pretty soon, maybe we'll all have to wear them. Who knows? So we need to talk about how can you play while wearing one of these things? Now, I tried it on my coronet, and it didn't sound too great, but I actually could get a sound through. Let's see how that works. <laughs> But I couldn't do it at all on my flute. So we're gonna have to hack this face mask. When we play an instrument, we have to use our breath to do it, but how do we make it work with a mask? So there's two parts that we need to think about. The connection between our embouchure and our mouthpiece and also where the breath is exiting because we don't want any corona coming from there either. Face masks mostly need a cloth, especially made of cotton. That's what they're telling the average public to wear. So that's what we'll talk about. So maybe an old pillowcase or maybe an old t-shirt. How can we use these to make a mask? So the simplest thing you could do is to get a couple of pillowcases because they will need a couple of layers and then just put your instrument inside of it, right? My cornet's in here, and then I need to get my playing arm in there, I think. And then uh, I'll see you later. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. That kind of works, except my elbow's too long, so it won't quite really fit. Um, if you were shorter, maybe that would work fine. What if I put my hand on the outside and play it? That could work. Now you would just need a couple of pillowcases to pre prevent um, the germs from getting through. And also you might want an elastic band or a drawstring or just to tie this around yourself. That way uh, it's sealed around your torso area. What a great idea. Now of course, using the pillowcase method, you might be able to prevent the spread of germs, but you can't see because it's covering your whole face. So maybe we could find a way to enclose our mouth and our nose while still being able to play. In my pillowcase, I have my instrument and it is tied around the back of my head with some tape here. Now this is just one pillowcase for the proof of concept, but if you wanna make it even more germ proof, then just get three or four or five pillowcases. So let's find my mouthpiece. Great. Perfect. Now, even though this works just fine, you might be thinking to yourself, well, Murs, we can't really do a concert like that. That's silly and it looks stupid. Or you might be thinking, well, I play an instrument that's bigger than a cornet and it's not gonna fit in there. Good points. Let's see what else we can come up with. Now let's get some scissors and a t-shirt out. Let's see what we can do. We need a couple of strips of cloth that are gonna go around our face and we're gonna make a little hole for our mouthpiece to come out of. I've got a strip of cloth here, but you can make it as many layers thick as you want to. I'll poke a hole in the middle, which will be for the mouthpiece. Mouthpiece through the hole. Now I found that by cutting the edges and ripping them, it actually lets you tie it around your face a little bit better. So you can do one above your ears and one below, which I can put my mouthpiece through. Perfect fit. Now let's talk about the other side right here where the germs will come out. I think all I'll need is another strip of fabric about the same as the one on my face. Okay, here's my second strip of fabric. Let's see how this one will go over the bell. Oh, this will be perfect. I can do it like that and then just twist it around a little bit. Awesome. Now, of course, if I was doing this for real, I would want to use a couple different layers of fabric on both my face and the instrument. Perfect! Perfect! 
Now, what do you do about a bigger instrument? A trombone should work the exact same way. It just might need a bigger cloth here to cover the bell. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, there we go. Okay, tie it around, wrap it off. Great, the bell is covered. And then all we need is put our mouthpiece through the same hole that we have. All right, perfect. No problem at all. A tuba is even bigger, and you might not have a shirt big enough for a tuba, so what I decided to do was to just put a little trash bag on the top of it. And all we gotta do is use the sides and uh, cinch them up, and then put your mouthpiece through the hole. This should be easy. All right, let me get this. Uh, here we go. Oh boy. Not totally crawling through. The flute is harder because we have to make sure that we can still blow into this hole here, which we're not going to be able to do with a traditional mask because we need to seal this off and seal this off. So what do we do now? Well, I have a couple of ideas. First of all, oops, with a straw, we might be able to blow into the flute. So if we can find a way to seal, oops, if we can find a way to seal this part off and seal this part off, I think we can do it. Got it sealed here, and <laughs> and I got it sealed here. What could go wrong? Let's see how it works. Let's see. I'll hold this here. Okay. Perfect. Now, I wonder if I can play something. Oh, I'm gonna keep my my straw in place. Oh, come on, straw. Okay, okay. Well, I'll keep working on it, but you get the idea. It could totally work. Oops. So I hope you learned something from that video. Remember, stay safe, have fun, and keep those germs away.